Welcome back to the channel. The Jimmy Show is back. I'm joined by James, the Strabanimal Gallagher. James, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. So I'm just done training, getting the rounds in, getting sharp again and uh, getting back at it. Yeah, so obviously the big news is that you're you're back for Better Tour Dublin in September, Friday, September 23rd against Brett Johns. Uh, great to hear that you're back on the card, obviously, with, with missing the last one. Um, but before we get into all that, how's life in Kansas City, Missouri? Good. So it is. I, I love it here, man. So it is. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm home, you know what I mean? I've set up, got me a little set up going and I'm in the gym every day, focused, training, good people around me, good friends, good teammates and yeah, man, I'm, I'm liking it, you know what I mean? I don't got me family and it's not, it's not home, do you know what I mean? And nothing yeah. will ever be, do you know what I mean? But the back of me, Mazgaf, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but, I, but I love it. It's good good for the mind, it's good for the, the focus and I'm, I'm married to this game, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm really giving it everything I've got, so I need to do what everyone else is not. Yeah, what, what's the difference, I suppose, between, you know, like the day-to-day -day life in, in Kansas City versus back home? Well, it's just like when you're home, you've, you go to the gym, you've got stuff to do, and you, you know what I mean? you got everyone around, and people ask you, oh, they want to do this, and it's where here is I go to the gym, come back, and get ready to go to the gym again, just stay focused, no distractions, do you know what I mean? It's pretty low-key around here, it's like there's not much going on, do you know what I mean? It's where it's... It gets pretty heavy when you're back home, fight time and you know, friends and distractions and everything like that. So it's good for the mind, do you know what I mean? In, in, the, yeah. in the comfortable. You know, you're obviously a huge star for Bellator. Like, was it difficult back home? You know, you have a very large profile and especially in Ireland where everyone knows you. Like, you've got thousands of fans coming to the arenas. Is it is it a bit easier to manage all that over there now? Yeah, but it's not like I love all that. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. like, you want to. I mean, people running up to you, walking around my head, and you they can't walk through a door. Do you know what I mean? Because it's swelled that much. You everyone coming up to you. And, do you know what I mean? If it feels good and all, but and and I and I love it. But it's what do you want? Do you know what I mean? It's just so easy to get distracted. It's so easy. Do you know what I mean? But that's not. It's not. A, it's not a complaint about that. You know what I mean? Because I fucking it's. It's the best thing ever, man. I'm carrying you're walking down the street and there's 20 people running up to you. And, oh my god, can I get pictures? And it's like, fucking yeah, do you know what I mean? Of course, of course, you can get a picture. I'm the guy around there. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you really like it's a you feel good about it. Do you know what I mean? So, you don't go to get away from I don't go to get away from anything because you know what I mean. I can handle everything pretty head on. So, I just came here to win a belt, you know what I mean, and become a world champion and set up life's good business out here, good smart investments going on. Stuff the outside of fighting, they make this stuff long, make it make it as long longevity as possible. Yeah. Have you found that you're able to focus, you know, drill in more on just the fighting side of things without maybe as many distractions back home? It depends. It's very just uh, because I've got a lot of stuff going on as well. But it's all like just to progress in life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's all investments. It's all how to learn. Starting up a podcast with James Christ. Do you know what I mean? We're going into real estate, like just all this kind of stuff trying to get a lot of stuff going on bringing out nfts trying to do all this kind of stuff so it's all about fighting it's all over do you know what i mean so it's every day we have a few like 45 hours dedicated to just fighting and then we have the same dedicated to the other stuff so it's a good ship do you know what i mean and, and everyone's helping out each other and we're all putting in bits and we've all got different aspects you know what i mean of some people have knowledge some people other things they can put in and do you know what I mean so it's a good it's a good net a good bond and a good good vibe do you know what I mean I'm liking it yeah what's the main difference uh, between Kansas City and Straban <laughs> <laughs> don't know bro Straban's the wild wild midwest as well <laughs> so that is so I'm home <laughs> I'm home same same know, but different a lot of cowboys running around a lot of cowboys in Straban as well mate <laughs> <laughs> Um, James, how's the tome? Uh, you're obviously you were forced out of the bantamweight tournament yeah, uh, with due to injuries. It's, How is it? It's tough. I banged it actually. I banged it up today again. So I have, but it's pretty it's gnarly just, scar you have. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But just on the head, bro. Do you know what I mean? If it's a little pull, pull back. Do you know what I mean? And people can't can't control that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, have you got a big fight coming up? I got to push. I got to train hard. You got to do this. and got to do that. And, for me, is I just got to get better, and if that means pulling back today so that I can learn kicks and I can do something else, and then so be it. You know what I mean? I'm just happy every day to be in the gym, striving to become the best version of me. And I ain't kind of 25 now, and I'm 
been kind of really, really open minded this last few years, and I always will be, but it's kind of like put me foot down a little bit, you know what I mean? Come off a loss and all this, and how do I try to, you know what I mean? Like carry myself in certain ways, and as we're now, it's kind of really don't give a fuck, man. Do you know what I mean? The loss, some people is that that loss kind of made me and just not really care as much or something, do you know what I mean? And just kind of do it, just keep doing it, do you know what I mean? And not yeah. really give a fuck. How, how, do you you know reflect, I mean? how do you reflect on that fight now with a bit of space in between like the, the last Apache mix? Man, that was a great fight. So it was a great, great fight. A lot of big positives to take away from it. And a lot of stuff I showed that I've never showed before. And a lot of stuff that, uh, that I'm really, really good at, but I did bad as well. And then there's a lot of stuff that I usually am not that good at, but I did it exceptionally well. Do you know what I mean? So there's a there's a lot a lot of yeah, I'm happy with that fight. Do you know what I mean? Obviously I'm fucked off. I got caught, you know what I mean? I got fucking choked out the better man won and, and that's it, you know what I mean? But I think nine nine, nine times out of ten I beat him. So I really, really do believe that nine times out of ten I, I can get him and I can push forward and break him down. Yeah. And uh, I can break that I can put that pressure on him because I've got a lot more pressure to give. Do you know what I mean? I just held felt felt held back a little bit and it was one of the ones where I went back in the dressing room. I was like, I, I had a bit more. I didn't give that many. Yeah, I did. And it's not, do you know what I mean? It's, there's no excuses and there's no, the guy won and that that's it. I fucked up, but I just feel like I had a lot more to give. Or, are you, are you able to pinpoint maybe what went wrong on the night? Yeah, there's a few things, do you know what I mean? But the, the thing that went wrong is that I got beat. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going to do whatever the fuck in my power to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Do you know what I mean? And, and that's all I can do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I go with my team and I this went wrong and that went wrong. This was not right and that was right. But at the end of the day, everything's right when I step in there and the ref asked me if I'm ready. Everything's correct. Because yeah. if it wasn't, I would have said no. I'd have been like, nah, mate, I'm not ready. Do you know what I mean? Give me another week. Give me another month. Yeah. How, how highly do you rate Pachi? Obviously, he's gone on. He's beaten Kyoji Horiguchi since then. You know, where yeah, would you bro. rate him in the division? Yeah, he's up there. Do you know what I mean? There's up there the pool. The division, there's no, there's no one bad. Do you know what I mean? It's what, 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 what hard do you want? Do you know what I mean? Everyone's hard. It's just what, what hard do you want? And he's hard in many ways, as as other people are in different ways. And I read, I read him high, very, very uh, like, do you know what I mean? Because he, he looks big, but he's not that strong, but very heavy. There's a weird, weird feel to him. Do you know what I mean? But very, very good, very good jujitsu. Didn't think he, he wasn't as tough as I thought he was. Do you know what I mean? I felt if I had stuck it into him a bit more, cracked him around the place that I, I could have broke him a bit more, but I was a bit hesitant on yeah, that. I, for I, I think a lot of people were, you know, the, the kind of the general consensus on fight night uh, there was that a lot of people were surprised by your striking. Uh, that like they mm. were very impressed by by the striking. Were you? Did you take kind of positives from that as well? One hundred percent. But the positive is had that I should have just took his head off. You know what I mean? It's moving around on, no, march him down and fucking stick a right hook on his crawl. And I know I caught him with it, but I was catching him with little bang, little clips and moving. And do you know what I mean? That's where I, I, I got, no matter what the fuck anyone says, you know what I mean? I was doing no striking shit. I got power. I can put people down and I've done it before. Do you know what I mean? And, and the gyms and stuff. And I can strike. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty good at it. And I, I could have a lot more. And that's what I'm saying to you is I do, I've got that. Do you know what I mean? And this is the kind of thing. It's more where I went back to dress rooms. Like, I had a bit more to give. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's no way you did leave it all, leave it all in there. I just mm. didn't do that. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's why why I got beaten. There's obviously a lot of things that I made mistakes on and all this, but that's again, do you know what I mean? The part of that reason. Yeah, and I wanted to maybe switch tax now. I saw that you're at a Super Bowl party, uh hobnobbing it up with Mike Tyson. How was that? Yeah, <laughs> a few weeks ago, yeah. <laughs> so it was the summer mass. This LA is a downtown LA for a weekend. <laughs> not many, not many survived that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, what was it like meeting Mike, a legend? Obviously. Yeah, that, that's the second. I've met him. I've met him a few times, so I think a second yeah. or third time I've met him. So it is. And uh, no, Mike's Mike's a G, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's, does he like when you're chatting to him? Like obviously, like such a legend. Does he give you any advice? You know, uh, approaching the fight game or anything like that? Nah, bro. I that's geez, Mike Tyson. You're gonna go up and ask him for advice, are you? Like, yo, Mike, <laughs> Man, I, don't, I, I wouldn't want to end up like that lad in the plane. Anyone, anyone on this fucking planet, so I, well, I don't give a fuck who you are. You're seven foot tall. I'll fucking, I'll make a go for you. Mike Tyson, 
Nah, nah. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right, mate. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> you all good? <laughs> that's that's as that's as far as if he wants to give me a voice, I will fucking lap that up, boy. But I ain't asking that man for shit. <laughs> yeah. what, what did you make of that? Uh, of uh, the lad on the plane getting a uh, hiding from him? Man, that felt deserved to be fucking dragged. He he deserved to be through. Right? He's open that door, mate. Get time out of here. You got to. Them people need to be off the world. You don't like come on, respect you treat it the greatest of all time with that. And I'm telling you, I'll walk over to anyone, I'll speak to anyone. Man, there's a there's a thing about him that you just don't nah nah. Like you don't you don't you just don't do that. You know what I mean? It's different you go out and you see people and fathers are friendly and they're this and that, but that's Mike fucking dice, man. Rip your head off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like poking a bear. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? That's how it feels. That's how it feels, but yeah. Have you have you ever had to deal with anything like that where like a fan or anything would like as overstep boundaries or you know every time you step out? So it is, but usually for me, I'm a pretty nice and when I'm you know what I mean when I'm approached and stuff. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm not that guy, so it's always just a yo, mate, don't fucking disrespect me. Do you know what I mean? I'm taking my time to speak to you, and I don't got it, but I'm going to. You know, I want to, so don't don't go there. And usually, that's always have ever been the case. It's been once or twice where there's been things that have definitely. There's been a few people with me have stepped in and did a few things or whatever and separated the the, the, the situation, but because people are trying to attack you, blindside you and stuff like this, and you're just what? <laughs> you That's know what crazy. I mean? But yeah, but I, I just keep me. You know what I mean? I try not to be the. Do you mean, bro? I'm a professional fighter. Do you know what I mean? What someone's gonna if you run up on me and try to I'll defend myself, but you can say what you want. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. I'll go a few hundred racks for a fight next week in a cage. Do you know what I mean? I don't need the Hurt me hand hitting some fill in the street. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. It's just dangerous and it's not. I mean, imagine you, someone runs up and you try and drunk and swings at you, bro. I get punches fired at me every day. So, do you know what I mean? What's this in a pull and do you know what I mean? I move it down to round a little bit, not get hit me on your way, mate, or do I just pull and hit him just for the sake of my ego? The fellow fucking gets hurt. Something bad happens to him because fighting is dangerous. And then I'm the one then just going like, you know what I mean? I could have just walked away from that or I could have just choked him or I could have just did that. It's just never worth it. Do you know what I mean? I don't need them dramas and shit. Do you know what I mean? That's why I came over here and keep the head down, keep myself to myself and enjoy life. Yeah. It's not so, that serious. Yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe back to fighting in the cage, uh, Brett yeah, Johns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brett no, Johns, no, Friday 23rd. I, I keep yeah. all mine in there. <laughs> like, so, so how did the Brett Johns fight come about? Uh, I seen him on Twitter call me on. I was going to me up. like, yo, what's the fuck is on me? I was like, yeah, let's roll. Let's do it. Was this the, so I saw you po- posted like a, a drunken video <laughs> calling a few Yeah, lads he did, man. Up to the clown. Imagine posting a drunken video calling. So, because he did before and I seen it and then I was just training. And then I seen the, the drunken one. I was like, oh, this clown's getting it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just an. It's like, I don't know. Have you ever had yeah. any interactions before? Or has this kind of come out of the blue or, or what? I kind of always liked him. Do you know what I mean? I always watch him UFC and stuff. So he was just a bit of a weirdo or something. I don't know. He's all right. You know what I mean? I'm not against the guy. Do you know what I mean? Best of luck to him. Hope training goes well and show up. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm going, I'm going there to straighten him. So he's straighten out his like cricket nose. <laughs> yeah. And so as you mentioned, you know, you know, he is a, an ex UFC fighter. Um, he had success in the promotion. He was come over to Bellator. You know, he, he dropped a fight, but then he had a, an impressive performance against uh, Kershaw Kakarov. How do you mm. rate Brett Johns? Like, say in comparison to say Apache, the, the exact same and one of the best in the world. You know what I mean? And that's that's it. And he's proved it time and time again. And as he said himself in his own words, that I'm the biggest fight of his career. And when I when I when I when I got addressed like that, it was yeah, I'm I'm there. Do you know what I mean? That's what I, the self belief that I that it took from it these people know where exactly where i am and that's exactly what i'm going to go out there and do i'm going to be added to that list of the very few high level people that have handed him a loss do you know what i mean i'm going to be in the same bracket as agile sterling and those guys that that's where i am do you know what i mean and i truly 100 percent believe that and i just got to prove it to everyone else do you know what i mean and that, that's it i'm gonna prove shit i'm just gonna prove it to myself hmm. do you know what i mean but i'm gonna go out there and everyone's gonna see Going into the mixed fight, I think a lot of people w- or w- would have agreed that on paper that was the toughest uh, test of your career by you know by, by a margin to date. Coming off a loss, uh, when you know taking a step up like that and then coming off a loss, 
some fighters would maybe take a step back and, and fight a lower yeah. level competition. Was it important to you to go in here and reaffirm yourself in the division again by taking on someone like a Brett Johns? Nah, man, I don't, I don't think about it like that. And I've climbed up into a position in the promotion now. Is when you, you know what I mean? I'm the biggest draw I sell out there. Arenas, I'm up there. None of these bantamweight guys or no one was out. My name really attached to them without calling me out without doing something. It's obviously got Johns and all. Do you know what I mean? But man, for the list of who's who's, of who he's beat, and who has beat him, it's like who the fuck is he really? Do you know what I mean? These guys are not walking down the streets outside the arenas they're fighting in. They're all sitting around with their teams and no one knows who the fuck anyone is. Do you know what I mean? And it, it ain't really like that for the likes of me and Peter and... Do, do you know what I mean? It, it, it's different. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it, and that's... It's just it's just a different... It's like, who the fuck are they? Do you know what I mean? It's, they're all just little dweebs and it's, but he's one of the best in the world. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just going to go in there and prove me. Prove me that I can do this and this is what I do and Chew up and put on a martial arts performance. Do you know what I mean? And just get just deep into becoming a, the best version of myself as a mixed martial artist and the best version as, as a as a person as well. And just keep that mentality. Do you know what I mean? And it's not really any anything else. And just trying not to get caught up in all that. And because it is different, there's the problems that I kind of have to deal with. And do you know what I mean? And I'm not here to prove. Oh, I got to jump back in to prove anyone because. I, I just do me and I just do this and I'm going to appreciate the but who knows me? I don't, everyone knows what I'm about. You know what I mean? Are the people who actually know me? Mm. Not somebody who thinks they do about it because they see you online or, do you know what I mean? And I'm here to become the best in the world. So what do I want? Do I want to go in there and make money? I already make enough money. I've got money. Do you know what I mean? I don't need it. You know, I want it. I'm, I do need it and I'm going to get it all. And that's, do you know what I mean? But I, I'm just here to prove that I'm one of the best. So I ain't stepping back. I'm going to the top. Do you know what I mean? And that, that's it. And I don't try to think about a big fall. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not at that level. And do you know what I mean? So maybe I'll fight someone else to kind of get a bit of a rise again. And then this, but bro, I'm just thinking about a big rise. Do you know what I mean? I'm climbing to the top of this and none of them are on my level. That's how I feel. Do you know what I mean? Even though I got beat in the last one, I, I really do feel like that I'm the better martial artist. And I really do believe that when I put in the work and show up 100%, that I'm better than all these guys. And I just got to... People, people be like, oh, he's saying this and saying this. Like, yeah, but I gotta prove that. Do you know what I mean? But I will say it, and I do believe it, no matter what the fuck anyone else thinks. Yeah, I think you know, from an Irish perspective, what what's been kind of common knowledge is one of the misconceptions is that you're looking for easier fights or anything like that. By taking on a you know patchy mix straight into a Brett Johns, forget about that where they are in the division or anything like that, but just looking at skill level, is it those litmus tests that will then tell? Us, I know you know you know your level. But is it fighting that high high caliber opposition to get you to the the very very top to show again and again to yourself that you're beating these guys? Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I'm. That's what I'm about. Becoming the best. You saw the like people as you say there. People know thinking you're doing this and people think that. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> and I don't care. And I ain't yeah. going to try and prove you that you're wrong. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think. It's good for you. Do you know what I mean? Good. Best of luck. Think what you want. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm wanting. I know what I'm working towards. And where do you think I have to prove this? Or someone thinks I have to fight this guy to prove that. And it's even if I did take an easier one, well, I'm going in there to do something to progress for myself because I know where I want to go. Mm. And I'm going to do whatever the fuck's smartest for me in my career. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And for right now, is I want to be a world champion. I want to climb to the top. I want to become the best. And I'm fighting these guys to prove that and to do that. It's simple. It's not like a big, everyone overcomplicates this thing and thinks so deep about it. And it's kind of like, I'm 25. I'm, I'm good to go now. Do you know what I mean? I've grown as a fighter. I'm become a man. Who the fuck wants it? And that's what I said. I'm always going to do. I'm going to climb my way up as a young kid, fight these guys that were pitting in front of me. And when I develop as a man, I'm going to be who the fuck wants it. Because I was used to that at amateur. Fighting everyone, all weight classes, 155, 35, 45, anyone, two weeks notice, Janderson Castro, Matt Mullen, all these big guys that know him as fight. Of course, come, come to me. I would have jumped in. John, you see, we're up, you're fighting this weekend. I'm like, who? I don't know, some guy. So that's, that's the mentality that I have. That's the mentality that no one's seen. That's the mentality that the kids used to get the bus up four hours a week and used to fight every single week, up weight classes, down weight classes against all these bigger guys. 
every second week. You used to do jiu-jitsu competitions every week, beating everyone, submitting everyone in them. That's the person that we know. Do you know what I mean? That's the person who John Cavanaugh knows. That's the person Connor knows. That's the person Christ knows. Just because all these motherfuckers ain't watching the hard work every day and watching the mentality is that they see the clip online. I say, yeah, of course I'll post something that's going to get fucking 10,000 likes and then Monster Energy is going to come in and slap me. There's boom. Do you know what I mean? There's this post of ours up there as well. And there's this one. Now this come in. And before you're noticed, before you, before, you know, before you know it, is all these motherfuckers that can't even make six figures per fight. I'm doing that alone without even fucking fighting. Do you know what I mean? And that's the kid that everyone else knows. And that's the person that I know who I am. And that's the person that I don't got to prove shit to fucking anyone else. That, that was a great answer. Um, I know you've only got a couple of minutes, but a couple more questions. You're only 25, but I think you're you're on that kind of uh, you're almost over the line where you've been fighting more years than you have not been fighting. I've been mean, for four, 13 years. Your first fight was 13, was it? When I was 13, I'm 25. Now I started training on my 12th birthday. Yeah. How, how long more do you think you like when you look ahead to the future? When do you want to hang them up? Or, you know, do you see yourself fighting another 10 years? Because it's crazy yeah, to have so much experience but still be so not, young. Well, I'm tell them in the early 30s, I'm going to prove that I'm the best. I'm going on a run. I'm going to become the biggest superstar of all time now in these next five, six years. I'm going to become one of the greatest martial arts. I'm, I'm, I'm running. I'm going. Let me just get these injuries here. Up, and I'm, I'm going, mate. I'm going to the top. This is it. There's no more. You know I mean, 25 and becoming a man. 30, what's 33, 34 is when people... Mid 30s is when people start to kind of peak at 32 around that, and then when you get to 36, it depends on you, you know what I mean. Who you are, that you can see people starting to go downhill a little bit. But when I get up there, early 30s, bro, I'm, I'm here to prove that I'm the best through and through. Do you know what I mean? And that's 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 the plan. Do you know what I mean? I want to become a world champion in Bellator and then be like, we're, let's see what's what. Let's let's go. I want to take the biggest of the biggest. I want to do something, I want to do something crazy. Do you know what I mean? You want to do something big? Maybe bounce over the UFC, fight Agile. Let's do that. The first ever crossover fight. Do you know what I mean? I'm who's a bigger star. Who's the best uh, 135 in the world right now? <sighs> Can't say yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know the way you think. <laughs> no, well, uh, I would say I wasn't actually even, I wasn't going there, but I was like, yeah, it was a good one. Dillshaw or Yan? Say, say them. If you Stott- had to pick one. is in there. Stotts is in there. Damn, I want to pull of both. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll pull of both. I'll tell you which one was harder to beat. There we go. Um, <laughs> how excited are you? You missed the last show. How excited are you to get back in front of the Irish fans? And is it what are we doing? Are we main event? There's a lot of good fights in this card now. Do yeah, you reckon yeah, the not, Jimmy I'm show main event? Sure. Man, I don't care. Pit me on first. Pit me on first. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming here to win. I'm coming here to put this man away. Do you know what I mean? And have a good time and do what I always do and create carry a big event you know what I mean I carry it on my shoulders every time and I put that on me and that's exactly what I'm going to do do you know what I mean and the same thing go out there and give it my absolute everything do you know what I mean and if that's first fight of the night last fight of the night if it's the night after the fucking fight night <laughs> so fucking be it you know in the, I mean? the hotel just, bar in the Gibson yeah I'm just going to go up just there pre- prepared for whatever happens yeah no no this and no that just if it's show up again you miss his whip no problem, let's go. Show up again, the mix with shows up the best. No problem. Shows up and I get beat in the first round by you no know I meaning like points me in the first round. No problem. You're fucked in this one. Do you know what I mean? And that's just the mentality that I've got. Do better. Just eat every time. Just do better. Do you know what I mean? How do you handle the situation better? How do you deal that better? And do you know what I mean? And that's just what I've been doing my whole career. And that's just what I gotta keep keep doing, keep working towards and keep getting a run of it consistent more consistent as well and i know i have a lot of injuries and covid happened and this and that but i feel like now over these next i'm mature enough now do you know what i mean I'm smart enough with money and smart enough with all of these things so that i can i don't have really any fear or any oh, fuck you know what i mean this is a bit much it's like now nah, i'm coming for that all now i'm coming for everything and that's just the mentality that i've got so I just stay in the gym keep the head there and 
try and relax. <laughs> <laughs> James, I really appreciate the time. Before you go, tell us about the, the podcast that you got coming out with James Krause. Yeah, what, what's the what's the, what am I allowed to say about the podcast? You're on the podcast, James. Bruce. Yeah, so this we're starting a podcast on UFC Fight Pass. So okay. it is, um, yeah, it's going to be some is going to be exclusive, and then we're also getting it over to our betting Discord. Uh, so it so is, is, it, is it a betting podcast? Uh, MMA betting? It's, it's about about fight bets, about everything. So it is about going to be about everything, but mainly so on bet and. Uh, so get over to Crouch's page and have a look on the Discord and see the see the bets for every week. Posting up every week the bets and I think what's the away for your referral link. Yeah. <laughs> what what what's the what's the up is it fifty six units up fifty six units up in the last eight weeks. Grand job. I'll so have to sign up to that and uh, make a bit of money. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. That, bro, people are paying their mortgages with it. Every there's fighters paying their mortgages. It's grand. I, I can't afford a house, so... Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, well, you better, you better start getting on it then, bro. You'll be in a house next year. You'll be in a house next year. Exactly, exactly. Well, James, look, uh, best of luck with the podcast. Uh, appreciate the time. Best of luck with everything yeah. over in Kansas City. It seems like you're, you're, you know, you're really enjoying yourself over there. I uh, yeah. hope the family are well. Big Andy and the nice. That's great. Uh, us, the, um, only, the, the, only, the only thing Kansas City is missing is uh, me, man, and dad, bro. Yeah, you, they're you always great to us on, uh, on fight week so uh, yeah, yeah. We, we Irish <laughs> media all love them anyway so Mama, uh, Mama G and Big Bird <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thanks for the time today and we'll, we'll chat again soon I appreciate it alright speak to you soon